Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to use the chat box. So the first thing you want to do is go to this website, which I have linked into the description box. And this is the card that I'm going to be testing it on. So this is just a card that I've made for a tutorial and I've just added a section for the chat box. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create your account. So you're going to enter your email and you'll be able to create an account. Once you create an account, you'll be able to like log in and you'll be at the screen and then you're going to open and go to my chat boxes. So once you're there, so that is the chat box I use for my card archive. You've probably seen it if you've entered it through the card.co. What are you going to do? You're going to click create new chat box and first you're going to name your chat box. Um, so I named it Rusha at first, but the name was taken. So there's a bunch of different themes that you can go through. I was contemplating using the compact one first, but then I ended up changing my mind and using Slate. And then when you're just going to create your chat box now. And so, yeah, you can see it said my name with that name was already in use. So I just changed it into something else. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. No one's really gonna see that name. Just click chat box free. You don't need to do any of that fancy complex stuff. Okay, so now this is where you get to edit your chat box. So it's actually pretty simple from here. You have all those colors and everything, but let's say you're not like liking the color schemes and all that. You can go where I'm clicking to looks and feel and click theme editor. When you click theme editor, you're in this place where you can see all the different colors and anything you want to edit. So you can, so here I was just editing the background for the chat box. I made it white using the code FFF. And then I cl clicked enter every single time. And once I clicked enter, everything saved. You don't have to do that also. I just knew the colors that I was going to be using. You can trial colors and then at the end you can see how to save it. So here, like I'm doing, I'm just editing uh, everything. I edited the base text, I edited all of that. And you can see every single time I'm clicking enter. So yeah, what you wanna do, if you like, like the theme, if you like the pink, you don't have to edit this. But sometimes when you're making cards, you have like a certain theme and the chat box themes don't really match like the theme of your card. And so you that's what you can do here. You can change the themes and everything to match your uh, card, match the color schemes. And if you wanna choose a different font, there's a bunch of different fonts. You have like Questrial, Railway, Oswald, Roboto Slab, Roboto, Monsteria, Open Sans, and then the web defaults. I ended up using Roboto for this tutorial. And you can edit the font size and all of that so you have your font size which you can see above here i just changed the name of the theme again it really like does not matter all these little names it's only for you to see so you can honestly like even do like a keyboard smash like it's really not that big of a deal and so he he sorry <clears throat> here you can see so now i'm just getting the code i'm copy and pasting the code into my thing and once i do it, i'm going into card and opening an embed, put the embed in the container and all that. I name my like thing chat box. And once you name a chat box, you just copy and paste your code in there. Super simple. Like I promise you guys, like, this is actually really simple. Obviously, it's inline because as it showed before, this is an inline code, so you don't have to worry about that. Car will automatically register it and change it for you. All right. So that is that. So when I when you publish the card and you view it. As you can see so here you can see the chat box and all that but let's say you don't like the size then what do you do so let's say you want a bit of smaller size so all you have to do is look where I'm highlighting it says width 100% and height 450 so I wanted to make the score box just a tiny bit smaller because I feel like it was way too big so I changed it into 250. I'm pretty sure this is measured in PX or so pixels, but you can use um, EM if you're more comfortable with that. Just find the EM to PX converter. And so once you do that and I refresh it, here you go, you have the chat box. So I'm typing my name and a cute little message in there. Obviously like that doesn't really matter. So that's really how you use the chat box. So this is how you can use it for any single card. If you wanna make a new chat box per card, like there you go like that's all you have to do every single time you're gonna follow that strategy 
and that's just gonna show you how to make the card like here I decided oh I don't really like how I made the text a uh, gray so I'm gonna make the text black and anytime you make changes into that scroll box here when you go back into card or you refresh it the code is already going to uh, uh, update so you don't have to fix everything so yeah that's really it so just know you go on the website you make the you make the chat box edit the chat box if you want to copy and paste the code into card and then if you want to edit it you have to just play with those settings but yeah that's really it i hope you enjoyed enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the chat box um if you're interested in upgrading your card plan please use my referral code Rithi. and yeah please subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day